it's Helen Castillo again, and we are going to be talking about the do's and don'ts with brocade fabric today. So brocade fabric is a woven fabric with an elaborate design that is often raised. Um, you can see there's texture on these two, there's a floral and all over. And this brocade actually, although it is an all over, it mostly is just a solid color. You'll also notice that with brocades on the wrong side of the fabric, you often have the opposite of the, um, the motif or the repeat that is on the right side, which makes for a lot more options when you're designing because you can use the right and the wrong side of this particular type of fabric. What classifies brocade as a brocade is that it has these woven threads through it that are usually silver or gold. They are metallic, which means that they have a very low melting point when you are ironing or using steam. So you have to be super careful and always do a practice swatch first to determine what settings you need on your machine and on your iron. When you are washing these fabrics, you should always hand wash or spot clean. Depending on what the fabric content is, typically you wouldn't want to put this type of fabric in the washing machine because from the friction and the heavy rotations in the machine, it can actually put pulls or snags in your fabric. So for the most part, you should always only do a spot clean. If you can keep a swatch on the side, create a swatch book for yourself. You know, keep swatches of different fabrication where you can keep your stickers that actually come on the yardage that you purchase through Mood so that you can have, you know, a classification with all of um, the preferences for each of these fabrics. When you are pressing these fabrics, do not iron on the right side of the fabric. You always wanna iron the wrong side. Again, with this beautiful, I don't have the style number, but it will be in the description. With this gorgeous brocade, you have a right side where the texture is more of an embossed effect and from the wrong side has a debossed effect. So although you can use the right and the wrong side, just bear in mind that with brocades, you're gonna get a different look depending on what side of the fabric you use. It is entirely up to you what side you want to use because you're the designer. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. When you are washing these fabrics, doing like a spot clean or for whatever reason you need to just submerge them and wash them first, you want to be sure that you don't wring them out. You want to just have them dry as naturally as possible, laying flat. You can even put a towel underneath and have the right side facing up. You can lay it in a place that has um, a low exposure to... Um, direct sunlight because you don't want the sunlight to end up sucking the color out of any of these um, fabrics. Again, there's different chemicals in the fabrics that give them the color or the texture or the effect. And um, UV rays can actually damage a lot of fabrics that have, um, you know, a more intricate coloring or intricate patterns per se. Also, when you have um, brocades that are for upholstery, you want to be sure that you're using the correct weight for what you're using and always have them professionally cleaned. Although upholstery fabrics and upholstery brocades have a stronger weight, you still want to be sure that they'll hold up to the integrity after you've cleaned them. If you have a garment that is brocade and you want to wash it or you have tried out washing your fabric previously and it held up pretty decent, then you'll still wanna be sure that you lay your fabric out or your garment flat so that it can just dry as evenly and naturally as possible. One thing not to do is hang up wet fabric, especially brocade, because you can actually end up getting snags and pulls from just the weight of the, the moisture. Another thing and another reason that we are so particular with brocades especially when pressing or sewing or cutting, you wanna be sure that you're not, you're not wearing any jewelry that could snag on any of these. You can, you can kind of hear my hands, a little ASMR moment. My hands are kind of, they're not dry, but they are pulling on these fibers. So it is very delicate from the wrong side, depending on what overall um, texture or motif you have on, on the actual brocade. So just be sure that when you are cutting your fabrics, you're laying them, you know, right sides together as you normally would. 
but bear in mind that anything can put a pull in this fabric and it will show on the right side and then it will be damaged. So just try your best not to wear too much jewelry or even with pins, I would almost prefer to recommend that you cut this with a rotary cutter and a rotary mat so that you can have everything be super duper flat on the surface. And this Tulip Pink Rotary Blade is actually ambidextrous, which means if you are lefty or righty, you don't have to buy a lefty or righty version. And I've used this for, oh my goodness, I've probably used her for like five or six months now and the blade hasn't even gotten dull. And the coolest part about it, it has a retractable shield so you don't have to worry about accidentally grabbing it by the blade. But um, she's my favorite tool and she's really cute. <laughs> So with all that being said, just be sure that you are aware of how this fabric is responding to whatever you're using it for. All right, and there you have it, the do's and don'ts of working with brocade fabrics. Good luck and be sure to tag us with whatever you come up with.